Hey guys, Scotty here, and we are in the US for Drag Week. Hot Rod Drag Week, it is that time of year again. We're in a little town called Commerce in Georgia, all right? So this year, Drag Week starts at Atlanta Dragway in Georgia. We're up sort of northeast of Atlanta at the moment. So start and finish at Atlanta. We go from Atlanta to Darlington in South Carolina, Z Max in North Carolina, around to Bristol in Tennessee, and then back into Georgia. So yeah, it's a nice little circuit. First time they've ever been over the east side of the US with Drag Week. So these are four totally new tracks. It is gonna be insane. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And here's my shopping trolley for the week. All right, so I've got a few boys joining me. We've got Povy, Luke, Matt Ricky's gonna come over as well from New York. So we're gonna have a good team covering all the action from Drag Week this year. But uh, I've gotta say, I'm digging the big Chevy Suburban. It is pretty cool. Got a few features, let's have a look. What do we do if we do this one? It's got a bit of room inside, let's have a look. So three rows of seats, well we don't need that. Let's kick him down. And oh, I'll have to knock that headrest down, but yeah, a bit of load capacity in the back. I love it that uh, this thing's so big, it doesn't actually have wheel arch cutouts in the back doors. Look at that. A couple bucket seats in the back. There we go. Drop that down. Beautiful. Look at the load space. We had to lay down in that. Yeah, four bucket seats. I love that. All leather. Let's have a look at what this thing's got under the hood. I haven't even looked yet. One. There we go. Look at that. Just for something else. Looks like it's got a uh, LT1 in it. So flex fuel capable. She'll take E85. I'm guessing it's a 5.3. To uh, do some research on that. It's a pretty cool rig, though. We'll fire up. Seriously, look at that load space. I reckon, I reckon I could lay down in there. Oh, jeez, I better get in first. All right, my feet just hang out the end. Not quite full length, but that's pretty good. <laughs> You could certainly lay down and have a bit of a nap there if you wanted though. That is a big unit. So all the Aussie Drag Week guys are pretty much having problems getting their cars sorted. Some are stuck on the dock still and they've got to be out by Sunday, which if they're not out today, they're pretty much not going to be out by Monday. So that will suck. There's at least four cars stuck on the dock, plus the engine for one of the other cars. So there's five cars, but those boys have sourced another engine. so. Hopefully they'll get that sorted. So, you know, there is there's a lot happening. You know, people changing valve trains and, you know, Arby's doing all sorts of dyno testing with his. Brian doing dyno testing with his as well. So there's a lot happening. But no one's here. They're all hundreds of miles away sorting their shit out. And they're not here. So today is going to kind of be Scotty Day. So I'm going to go do a bit of shopping, get some clothes and goodies for the wife and kids. And uh, might go to the gun range. So... Maybe I'll share some of that with you. I don't mind having a shot. 
So anyway, I'm gonna go start touring around in the Suburban. So driving in the States is a bit different, you know, other side of the road. We say the left hand side's the right hand side, but in America, the right hand side is the right side of the road. So I'm just on the interstate at the moment, heading down to Atlanta. The speed limit is allegedly 70 or now 60, but uh, no one does the speed limit over here. It is amazing. In a 70 zone, cops aren't going to even look at you if you're doing 80. You know, I've been on the interstate 80 mile an hour where it's a 70 zone and had cops cruise past me, not even glance. It's amazing. They just don't have that raw aggression for speed limits over here. Of course, if you go stupid and do 100 mile an hour, they're gonna pick you up and you're gonna to go to jail. Not just the fine, you will go to jail. But, if you're just moderate speeding, no one cares. So, that is quite liberating, I've gotta say. Freedom, America. So every time I come to the States, I love to go to the range, shoot a few guns. Today I've got the uh, CZ Scorpion Evo, 9mm, pretty cool. Let's see how we go. Alright. Cool. Let's see what it looks like. Not too bad. Not great. Wasn't going for precision. Now we're getting serious. Beretta PM12, full auto. First the loading. First, should be right. All right, let's try. Okay, is that safe? All right, let's see. All right, so that must be safe. That must be single. Accurate. And the full. Alright. Lean into it. <laughs> oh yeah.
fit. Ten in the head. Ten the head. He is dead. Beautiful. Let's check this out. 